Welcome everyone. Warm greetings from the Orbis family. I, Miss Mona Hawale, would like to welcome you for today's class. Today I'm going to tell you a story about the tiger and the woodpecker. Once upon a time, there lived a tiger in the jungle. One day, the tiger set out out of his cave and went looking for the prey. Soon he found a suitable prey and began munching away. As the tiger was enjoying his meal, a tiny bone got stuck in his jaw. He coughed. He tried using his paw to get the bone out. A tiny bone brought tears in the mighty tiger's eyes. Helplessly, he began to roar in pain. A woodpecker sitting on the nearby tree saw the tiger's discomfort and asked what was the matter. The tiger pointed to the bone stuck in his tooth. The woodpecker offered help and took out the bone with a sharp beak. Few days later, the woodpecker got trapped in the net which was laid by the hunter on the ground. The woodpecker was very sad and began calling for help. The tiger knew the voice and found the woodpecker struggling in the net. The tiger freed the woodpecker from the net. What do we learn from this story? If you do any good, the good will come to you. And in this story, which was your favorite character? Well, I like the tiger. Tigers are incredible animals and the largest cat on the earth. Tigers are usually orange or reddish orange with very bold uneven stripes with of black and white. Tigers also love water and they are fantastic swimmers. Sadly, tigers are endangered species and there are less than 3,900 tigers remaining in the wild. The tiger's population is getting decreasing day by day. The tiger handles the well-being of the forest. Guess who is the biggest enemy is? It is none other than us humans as people hunt them for their fur or the other parts of their body and ruin the areas that they live in which is called habitats. It is also important to create awareness among the people. The 29th of July marks International Tigers Day and now is the time to make a positive impact on this beautiful animal's uncertain future because their survival is in our hands. So, what we can do to save the tigers? Save forest, save tigers. Spread the awareness of the need to save tigers. Reduce the use of products which we get from forests such as timber and paper. The tiger's population in our country has grown from 1,400 to 2,977 in 2019, according to the reports. Saving tiger is not only our responsibility, but also our duty. We have to support the projects for the protection of the tigers. We should know that when we ask something from the nature, we must be ready to give it back. The nature is responsible for our existence. We must take the responsibility for their existence.